Hi everyone, this is Garrison from Iron Kingdoms of War, and I'm here today to bring you a uh, terrain walkthrough. Now usually on this uh, channel, if you've seen some of my videos, you know I like to do full terrain tutorials, which is why I walk you pretty much from beginning to end the construction and painting of a project. Um, from now and again, I'm, when I put something together kind of on a whim and it's kind of a trial piece and I like the way it turns out, but it's already done, um, I'm going to do what I call a terrain walkthrough. So if it's a simple little piece where I think I can just walk you through it without showing you the construction step by step, we'll call that a walkthrough, not a tutorial, and here's my first example. My first example is this frozen pond. All right, uh, That is in use with my uh, winter terrain. So let's talk about this frozen pond. Actually, I'm going to talk first about how I use it in game. Uh, my son and I use this piece when we play at home, and we've uh, made some house rules up. First of all, um, small, single-based uh, uh, figures can uh, move across this frozen ice, such as this uh, Kedor Mortar Crew, uh, Warcaster like a Rusk, Cold and Lord the Solo. We've decided they can move across this pond, no problem, fight normally on this frozen pond. Um, however, and that's why he's waiting over here, kind of sad, uh, no war jacks or uh, men of war or for other factions, light war jacks. Um, etc. We've decided they'd just be too heavy for this ice and so uh, it makes for an interesting terrain piece for our boards because um, it makes a place that the lights can go and the uh, the heavy stuff can't so it uh, affects your strategy. So that's a house rule we play with but it's a, a nice piece of terrain uh, for that purpose. Let's talk about the walkthrough on the construction. So let me get my miniatures out of the way for a second. Um, this was an incredibly easy piece to make but I'm really happy with how it came out. So just kind of get an overhead uh, look at this piece here, my uh, frozen pond. Um, basically the construction of this thing is, um, the base is plastic for sale sign. Kind of a bigger, thicker piece than I usually use for um, cutting plastic from. But these are really cheap. I got this at Walmart, you know, super cheap and uh, very easy to cut with scissors. Um, and so that became the base of the piece. Then what I did, um, is I used caulking for um, basically the uh, the edge of this lake. All right, so this ridge around the edge is just simple white caulking, DAP caulking, and uh, from a caulking gun. And it came out. Uh, it's really easy because it didn't require any painting because it was white. And basically, I wanted this to be kind of a snowy ridge marking the edge of this terrain piece, so that was perfect. Uh, if you want to know more about caulking or see me apply it, you can look at my. Um, dirt roads terrain tutorial video. Anyway, um, I just put some stones in there and painted those up. Some uh, field grass, added that too, just to give it a, you know, a little bit of flavor. Um, and then uh, I painted the bottom of this uh, frozen pond. And there are a lot of different thoughts on this. You know, you could make it kind of a mucky color, but usually, you know, and I live in uh, New York, so I'm kind of an expert on this, Things do get a you know a white sheen over them. Honestly, probably wouldn't be a lot of blue in this water if it's a small pond or lake. Um, but um, you know sometimes I go for the war gamey look rather than the uh, photorealistic look. And and I ha I'm happy with how this came out. What I did was I put a solid coat of white paint down on this. And uh, before that dr well, it was dry, I took kind of a medium to light blue. Um, cheap craft paint and I put my brush in and I kind of swirled it around in the white to create kind of this effect that you get um, if you look at it at the uh, finished piece and so I really liked uh, the way it looked it kind of gave it kind of a neat kind of a foreboding uh, look to this thing um, you, you know I want it to look like there was some water underneath it somehow so mixing that little bit of blue in I think gave it that nice touch the next thing I wanted to mention was how I finished this piece off and that was with Envirotex um, two-part rosin uh, water effect essentially it's really a gloss finish but we use it in terrain making as many of you know as a uh, as a finish so anyway this is really glossy it gives it that frozen look you know I use this stuff if you want to see how to apply it look at my mucky swamp uh, terrain tutorial where you can see me uh, mix and apply Envirotex but here you can see it used as ice and um, it's kind of hard to catch that in the video, but promise it has a really nice sheen to it. It gives them that frozen look. Uh, an optional element you could add to this that I didn't is you could apply some, you know, realistic snow around here, which is really easy to do with a baking soda and white paint and glue, um, which is how I did the uh, bases of these figures, by the way, the snow effect on them. We could add some of that on top of this, because typically, you know, if you're in a cold, frozen, a cold climate like where I live and it's winter, on top of frozen ponds and stuff, you're going to have snow gathering and... and um, 
th that could easily be done. I decided to keep this kind of simple um, and keep the snow off it for this uh, this time around. So uh, because this is basically plastic and caulking and Envirotex, it is extremely flexible. See, I'm not even afraid to bend it. All right, so this piece is gonna like last me as long as I'm gaming, which will be a long time. So um, it's gonna be uh, a piece that I'll always have. It's very durable, um, you know, because I avoided using spackling. I used the flexible caulking, the Envirotex, which is flexible when it dries, the plastic for the bottom. Um, this piece is gonna take a beating, it's gonna hold up, and it's a really neat piece. So anyway, that's the terrain walkthrough. Um, I hope you liked it, and uh, yeah, go about making yourself a, uh, a frozen pond if you've got some winter terrain. And uh, yeah, you've got a nice little piece to add. Anyway, this is Garrison, Fire Kingdoms at War. This has been my terrain walkthrough. Happy wargaming, everybody.